Can I just glitch through? Oh. Speedrunner, time skip. When the swords clash, stand. What? What's that? What's that? What's the X button? What's the X button? I can't interact with it. Sort of glitched. When swords cross, stand face to face. Face to face? Do I need to go right up to it? Oh, great. That was great. Get up there. Fine, good. And swords cross, stand face to face. the chop Wrangles. Probably missing a very obvious clue. Right now we're in where? Here. Bridge of the Betrayed. Right, right. Fine, give me the hint again. So after 30 minutes of trying to decide what to play, I have gone with a small bowl of M&Ms and TV snacks, a coffee, and just watch you play this. Oh, You know, I have... I, um... That happens to me all the time. Like, I'm like, okay, I've got a couple hours to burn, I'm gonna play a game. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I, I just... Sometimes, it, if you want to play the game, you'll play the game. Sometimes the the want, it's not enough. Like, there there is so many games, but I, I very often don't have the desire to, um, to play them. I think with a game like this, though, it is it lends itself to, to watching, because this is basically a walking simulator, you know, puzzle solving nonsense it's it's calm yeah and sometimes you don't want to be um putting in the active effort to to play a video game you just want to be sitting back but you don't be watching bloody sitcoms on tv you know it's a different vibe that's why i like twitch so much now i used to be all about youtube but on twitch you can talk to actual people so 
I like that. I like that, that switch. When the swords cross, stand face to face. When the swords cross. Do I interact with you? No, I can't. When the swords cross, stand face to face. What am I missing here? When? Oh! Oh! Aha! I win! I'm gonna glitch it! Glitch it! Glitch it! Get in the room! No. Oh, I fucking did! Oh no. Okay, it was just the camera angle. Can I climb on your face? Oh, yes, I can! Okay, the answer is obvious that I need to force the, the statues to move somehow. That's what it feels like to me. It involves this thing here. And it's got the, the two little dots there. And um, Elizabeth told me to get the one with the high ground. God, I could use with some chocolate right now. Earlier on in the playthrough, I, I got some Tim Tams. So that was pretty fucking. That's good. But tomorrow, definitely. Like, Friday I had the flu shot. Today I'm like, okay, let's play video games. But I realized, wait, all the good chocolates probably be, uh, gonna be bought up if I don't act quickly. So tomorrow I'm gonna go nuts. I'm gonna go to the, the store. I'm gonna get as much chocolate as I fucking can. And I'm gonna enjoy my- well, actually... I probably shouldn't eat it before Easter Sunday. Because that would be degenerate, wouldn't it? Saturday is our shit snack day. Yeah. Yeah. I, I agree with that. I gotta clean up my eating habits a, a little bit more, but... Yeah, I usually don't pig out during the weekdays. I know, I just had, like, the urge, I just want to have, like, as much chocolate as I can possibly handle. When swords clash, stand face to face. This is shitting me, this is... Mm. Higher ground? Higher ground. Is there is there a different place that I'm missing out that's gonna activate this these two boys here? Could be. So I climbed up this building by going around here. And going th down through there. Do I need to... <laughs> Fucking game. My weakness is Aldi chocolate coated licorice. Wasn't there where I'm... Um... What do they call them? They used to call them bullets, I think. Yeah, chocolate covered licorice. It was at, like, not the, um, the very salty licorice, but it was like a different type of licorice. Used to love them. Yeah, thanks, gravity. Like, well, literally in this game, like you, you, um, you're anti gravity. You're literally anti gravity. So it didn't click for me to um. And also, if you drop from a great height, it will um encase you in that protective bubble right near the end. So you've got to fall, like not at a huge distance, but you've also got to fall from some height. Yeah. Not the bullets, get the twists. The twists are okay, in moderation. Like, too much licorice, like, it's a diarrhea town. But yeah. 
Or Woolies for the super soft chalk coated licorice. Oh yeah. Licorice is um in moderation. Licorice is very nice. Oh, and do you like uh Sambuca? That's like anise anise, anise flavoured uh liquor from Italy. Some pretty good shit. Monumental stone bottoms. Hmm. So I have the top, now I've got the bottom. Yeah, so there we go. There we go. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Um so I've got that opened up. But there was more, wasn't there? Or was that it? Or was that literally it? Oh no 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 no! No, we can we can do more. Go get upstairs. Over here. Yep yep yep. I've not had booze in ten years now. Ah, but was very favourable to Sambuca. I see I see. I um I've had periods where I've sworn off drinking, but um always seem to come back to it. I think in moderation it's fine. Like, I'll, I'll go through periods, you know, and, um, when I was younger, I used to, you know, binge drink. I think a lot, a lot of people, a lot of Aussies used to binge drink when they were younger. But now, um, don't do that shit anymore. Don't want to do that shit anymore. So. X marks the spot? Do I just... What is happening? What is happening right now, my guy? Do I just... Did something open up in the in the robot? Hmm... I am confusion. I need to figure out if something is up with that robot. I mean, with, with the statue. And then I can leave this accursed place. He's about to give him the chop, I reckon. I just need to do something. Yep, there you go. Rest. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa, do you see that? That was pretty clutch. Alright. Let's get up here. You play silly buggers with me. Just kind of glitched. Okay, good. Oh, fuck! Please, please, please. There we go. There we go. Good girl. Yeah, nothing, nothing different, okay. When the swords cross, stand face to face. Hmm. Well. Shit. Where to now? We do have to do that one. 
No, we're doing that. Our queen's got something for me. It's gonna be great. We get come on. All right. My queen, I return with your eggies. There she is. And look at the little chum leaves. Look at them all. Fucking spiritual up in this bitch. Hey! When you get too close, you get a little bit afraid. But that's alright. Oh. Queen Chum. Oh, yes. Please fertilize them for me. Welcome back, Sable. Queen wriggles as she greets me silently. You've brought more of my children home. Mm, this is a true kindness. Us chums are not often on the receiving end of such thoughtfulness. Your dedication to us is truly a boon. Although my face is covered, I'm sure that the queen can feel my immense smile. Your face is going to be covered pretty soon. What a genuine smile you have. Yes. Oh, stop. I'm getting all emotional again. Oh, please. Please. Oh, oh right on the face. Oh, now you're pregnant. Alright, so now that we've got that one. Oh, wow. Okay, now, now what ridiculous number you want me to bring you? The queen coos at her brood. They do seem happier here, though I'm not sure how I can tell. I feel even stronger now with another of the Queen's tears. Another 20, please. No worries. No. Don't, don't, don't be greedy now. First time she asked for 5, then she asked for 15, then 20. Now she's asking for another 20. Wait, I don't need to be doing that. Um, b -b 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 -b. Let's do this one. Okay, cave, cave, Hakoa. Where you at? Okay, there. I guess we could go here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. let's uh, let's get some uh, lining crystals because those things sell for a hundred cut each, which is probably the most expensive thing in the. Uh... Oh wait, is it not at the very top? We'll have to climb again. Oh. Oh. I have to climb again. Go oh, away. Yeah, I'll buy that. Nice. And yes, I'll buy that. Can I sell you anything? I mean, it doesn't matter. I got what I needed. Can I help you? Goodbye. Damn, getting to the top here, that took a significant amount of effort. Which I'm not prepared to do. So they are her children being returned. Maybe if she was a better mother, they would not really need returning. Exactly. She shouldn't have been stuffing them in the fucking bin at the shopping centre. It's just... Like, you know, trash, trash like behavior. And now she's all like, oh, I'm getting emotional now that my children are back. Classic victim. Classic victim. Stop putting your kids in the bin. Stop it. Stop it. Get some help. All right, so if we go this way, then we will progress further into a video game. Made by people. Please. Oh, there's my bike. Good. 
And dead. Nope. Prevent from death. And a hop. There we go. Um, buh, 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 buh. Yeah, let's keep going that direction, baby. Maybe on our way we can find a chumley egg. A chumley egg. I suspect that this um, last lot of 20 is the final 20. The final 20. Can I harvest you? It's very ominous that plant. At least the, uh, the bike is a little bit faster. I really hate how it sounds. I like how it looks. It looks kind of cool. Reminds me of um, Laputa. Valley of the Wind. Yeah, this game has an amalgamation of many different influences. I would say Studio Ghibli is one. Very small influence, though. Um, some of the background design are definitely from some modern games. Definitely. And of course, Breath of the Wild. Of course, Breath of the Wild. Not that it's a bad thing. It's just that its story... It doesn't seem very strong. It seems very Mary Sue. Like, oh, strong independent woman coming up in the world, like, just go explore, and there's no death, and there's no enemies. It's all a bit shit. Collect this, do that. Help people, make friends, ah. Uh. Not about that life. But the customizing of different bikes, that's pretty cute. I won't be able to mount this. But I can't get up, ha 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 ha. Very good, Sable. Very good. Oh, look at all that stamina. Look at it go. It's the stamina queen. Alright, now that I've made it up here. Oh, there is... There are some things. I can get that. Yep, yep. I can sell you for 10 cup. Wow. There's absolutely nothing for me here, is there? Wait. Right, okay. There. Now with luck, it should phase in. If I get further if I get far enough away from the bike, I think it phases in, but Bike is moving. At least it is moving. This is kind of like a jank Breath of the Wild, uh, Breath of the Wild, in my opinion. Not that there's anything really wrong with that. Breath of the Wild was a fantastic game. Where's my bike? Stuck, okay. I think up there, okay. We're very close. Let's persevere. I've done hours and hours of uh, tracking like this in games like uh, Fallout and Oblivion, so. Ain't no thing but a chicken wing.
that looks like what we need. Can I climb? Alright, this looks disgusting. Where do I need to go? Maybe up there? I sadly played DayZ for a few years when it was first released. Many are walking. I mean, some walking simulators uh, can be fun. And the way that I look at it, um, all games have a diminishing return, no matter how much you pay for them. There are some that are just like, you, you're in love with it immediately and you'll never stop playing them. Like, you know, for me, Skyrim, that's a classic. But then there are games that you buy and you're like, oh shit, it's only a, a play once kind of game. But the experience itself, it was worth it. So you can kind of justify it in that way, but... I think I'm very much of that camp now. I don't need to play a game in times and hundreds of hours. I don't need, I don't need to. I don't have the time for that shit. Just give me a good experience and I'll be happy. Alright, this, this has got to be it. Here we go. There we go. Ooh. I tried Skyrim so many times, would do a few hours, then just lose interest. Yeah. I mean, um... Ooh. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. Pretty colors. What? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I've got to um, do something here, don't I? Skyrim is one of those games where, like... If I had, like, the weekend... Like, back then I didn't stream, so I would, like, just... Hop onto um, Skyrim with mods and just uh, lose myself in the game. It's very good for that. Um, very customizable. Um, the character that you play as, you, you can break the game in you know ten ways to Sunday. Um, I don't think no. There's something ways to Sunday. It's a specific expression. I don't. I can't remember it. Um, but yeah, the the feeling of being like very powerful and just doing like quote-unquote interesting missions you could easily lose yourself it's it's like with the fallout games i guess bethesda had some very good sandboxy games in my opinion i am i'm kind of interested to see where they're going with our uh, skyrim well with elder scroll 6 but at the same time like i just fucking hate their game bro engine which is just it's not it's not good What are these? Oh wait, I, I take the stones and I pop them into the thing down here. I think I put them in the, the lake to get the smoke to awaken the uh, to paralyze the uh, the little shits. So throw. No, no, no. I need to throw you in this lake here. Mushrooms. Oh, this is a Skyrim. No, sorry, a uh, Fallout 4 experience. Oh, I'll give them the mushrooms. Hope they're like uh, 10,000 each. And I don't have to uh, currency grind for the rest of the game. <laughs> 